rugby fever is running high all across South Africa. And you can even feel the vibes and the gears here in Paul, where rugby is a big, big favorite of everybody in the community. And today we are here at Paulus Hubert Secondary School in Paul, where the learners and the teachers have come out to show their support for the Springboks ahead of tomorrow's big final in the Rugby World Cup between the Springboks and New Zealand. Uh, we are also here at the school where uh, one of the Springboks, Kirtley Aronser, played his rugby. And it was through the, where the, this is the school where he started his journey and he would ultimately be playing for the Springboks. He is playing in that team tomorrow against the All Blacks. But joining us now to talk a bit more about uh, the school and their message of support for the Springboks ahead of the final, we are joined now by the director of rugby, Mr. Ethel Antong, here at Paulus Hubert Secondary School. Mr. Antong, thank you very much for talking to us. It's a great pleasure, sir. Welcome to Paulus Hubert. The feeling, the gears is absolutely amazing at Paulus Hubert. And we want to wish well to the box and especially to our ex learner, Kurt Lee Aronser. There's Jet Lee. There's Bruce Lee, but there's only one Kurt Lee. An absolute amazing player, a very humble guy. And we at Polo Jube, where our motto is Nahil de Vasilius, nothing is too difficult. We want to send Kurt Lee that message of support from Polo Jube. All our learners and all our teachers at Polo Jube are behind you, Kurt Lee and we hope that you will believe like you did at Polo Jube a few years back in 2014. The message to the box, my favorite team, is that we will take the World Cup if you get the ball, keep the ball, and use the ball. With a 7-1 split, it's not impossible. Nahil, the Vasilius. Thank you, everybody. And then, uh, Mr. Hunter, just talk to us about, we, we've been uh, visiting the school today. We saw uh, the excitement with the learners in the classrooms, uh, here on the field, just out here. Just what's the, the energy like, the, the vibe like here at the school? Like, you know, Yo, the vibe is fantastic. The learners are all behind Kurt Lee and behind the box. There is a few that are behind the All Blacks, like our history. Uh, showed that some people are behind the All Blacks, but they in the minority, the majority of people are Boker, and the feeling is Boker Boer. And we hope that tomorrow evening we can celebrate. We're planning, if the, the victory is possible, we're planning to have a bus on Monday to go from all, from Poland to Bay to all the other high schools to celebrate the victory. And then just like you were talking earlier, just tell us a bit, a bit more about the, the, the conditions here at the school, just for in terms of playing rugby and the system that, that these, someone like Kurtley came through. Just uh, what, what is happening here? Yeah, it is a case of hope because the conditions are not very conducive to perform. I told the one gentleman that in the COVID, our rugby field was called COVID Bay because all the grasses was like knee high. In the drought restriction, we had the field with no grass on it and the field was called Sand Bay. And after the, that, when the rain came, all the thorns came out on the field and the field was called Dwarang Bay. And that is the time when Kurtley was at our school and we joked that he learned to sidestep between all the thorns. That's what we didn't have beacons to learn them to side teach them to sidestep, so he sidestepped through the thorns. And that show, show you how the conditions are at our school. We have not even one rugby field, but uh, Thirdly, is an example that no matter what the conditions are, that you can perform through hard work, through discipline, through determination, through dedication, 
And at the end of the day, if you adhere to that uh, values, you can perform and you can struck three, like Curtis scored, 12 tries in 12 tits, tits match, matches. Oh, wonderful, Mr. Anton. Now, just before we let you go, we were with the kids earlier, the learners, we saw the excitement, yeah. the energy. Let's just go over to them and get that energy again, that singing, right? Okay. Okay, yes, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mr. Apple Anton, the director of rugby. Thank you very much. Yeah. So very Lus? second. Is it Ian Lus? In the Spolus. I don't understand. And uh, of course, that's the rugby fever and the energy and the excitement that we are feeling and witnessing here at Polo Super Secondary High School. Ahead of the Rugby World Cup final tomorrow, taking place in Paris and France. And uh, so far, all we know is Go Boca! Go Boca!